Nah. Believe me, I know it's hard to read me. What? And I know these girls, I'm getting greedy. Cause I can't find one that knows how to treat her. I'm just really trying to understand. Who really trying to know who I am? Cause right now I can't even trust my Cause I can't find one that knows how to treat her. I'm just really trying to understand. Who really trying to know who I am? Cause right now I can't even trust my Sit back and be my piece. Be my piece. Net was looking dry, I bought a piece. piece. Complaining about the smile, I bought her teeth. She can buy her own bags, I bought her three. Bought her Something about her swag, she like the punk that caught her three. Uh -huh. Relationship goes on them hoes, J and B. Uh -huh. Every little secret that we got, I'ma keep up. Uh -huh. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or whatever time zone you are watching this, and welcome to another video. I just finished working out. As you guys saw, I had a really good leg day. I didn't get to get all of the exercises well i pretty much did everything you guys saw me do except let me just close the window it's kind of loud actually so i filmed all my exercises that i did except for one which was just like my upper glute exercise which i did cable not cable um my god resistant band clamshells so lately i've been doing just two leg days and two upper body days but now i'm switching up my program to well not my program my workout split i will say to doing three leg days and one upper body day because I really like the way my upper body looks. I just really want to focus on my glutes. I feel like my glutes are kind of slacking and I want to like get it back up. So what I did before to build my glutes was doing three leg days a week, pushing myself and that's what I'm gonna do. So you gotta do the hip thrust again. I <laughs> low key, not even low key, I really don't like doing hip thrust. It's just such a taxing like on the lower body exercise but the gains you get from it are worth doing it so that's what it is so because I'm doing three leg days a week now each leg day is gonna be like four exercises five max and I did 10 minutes on the Stairmaster today like I am pushing myself that is the new thing for me like I really want to step out of my comfort zone and do things that not intimidates me but I stray away from because I don't like it even though I know it's really good for me so the Stairmaster I'm committing to doing two times a week so out of the four workout days I do, two days have to have stair master at the end. But right now I am eating my lunch. I don't really got much food. <laughs> I have chicken, but like the chicken I have is gonna be for dinner later. Cause these past couple of days I've been eating like garbage. It's Saturday today and usually Saturdays or Fridays is when I'll eat out. But Thursday I was like a little under the weather again i was literally under the weather a week ago when i was in montreal and then again this week and i'm like what is going on i never get sick and now i'm getting sick back to back weeks it doesn't make any sense but whatever caught that in time got over that but i was in my bed just chilling i'm like i don't want my chicken anymore i want pizza so i ordered pizza and i had pizza thursday i had pizza friday i had ice cream i'm like okay child we need to get together so even though this is not the healthiest thing, I'm having these chicken strips that I got from No Frills. They're from the brand Schneider's. And they're supposed to be like spicy chicken strips. I don't know how because there's no sauce that comes in this. Usually there is a sauce. But whatever. They do have 15 grams of protein per two pieces. And I have four pieces. So I'm getting 30 grams of protein right then and there. Which is crazy. Love that. Love that. I'm not going to have any carbs with this. I'm trying to get back to having one meal, no carbs, two meals, carbs, because I feel like I've been eating way too much over my calories. And I'm not way too much. No, I haven't eaten way too much of my calories these last couple of days. So it's time to kind of like compensate for that. My sauce, this is the best sauce for your nuggets chicken strips whatever you want to call it the diane sauce the honey garlic this this is so good oh my god i love this i was asked if i wanted to go out and i was just like on a date and i was like no don't feel like it oh little update <laughs> my dating life is such a comical situation but Remember the guy I told you guys about that? Well, I don't know if you remember, but I was seeing this guy for almost like three months and he was, he was interesting. Like I was, I had my hesitancy because we were very much different in terms of like, he's an introvert, I'm an extroverted person. And like, he was just like, I've never, I'm being real transparent right now. He was just like, you know, I never 
been in love before and I'm ready and I took the time to like you know do the work and like really think about why I have my guard up when it comes to women this that, and a third hmm so then and so I was like okay I'll take that chance like we'll see you know what it's given I'm never doing this shit again I did this two times now I did this with an ex before didn't work out did it with him thought things were going great because he was doing a good job like Showed up to my house one time with a bouquet of flowers, surprising me, planning dates, hanging out, all of that. For my birthday, he had a little picnic arranged for us in the park, set up everything, got a bottle of champagne. He baked me a freaking cheesecake. Like, I love cheesecake. And I was expecting, you know, a slice, maybe a cake that you got from the bakery. But the fact that you baked and you don't bake a cheesecake for me, I was like, wow, this man really likes me. But the vibe I was getting was kind of weird. Like, it just wasn't giving what I wanted it to give. And my gut feeling was telling me, like, something's off. So after my birthday, shortly after, I brought it up to him. And I was just like, also, what's going on? Like, we've been talking for three months. When are things going to be official? Like, I don't think it takes this long for you to know if you really want to, you know, like, lock things down. And he just plain basically said to me, like, he hasn't been feeling the spark between him and I. He thought he would feel the spark after, like doing all the things that he's been doing and I was just like all right you're just not that into me bet <laughs> I'm not gonna lie that was a shot to my ego and I felt so stupid so I'm just like how the hell did I just ignore these signs once again like did you not learn your lesson before Tashana but it's all good you know you live and you learn there's no hard feelings nothing I'm just like done with that situation it's been it's been a couple weeks now like we're going into mid-August it's been a couple of weeks since we um, last spoken and everything ended, so I'm good, honestly. Because as I said, I felt this like weird feeling, and from the jump, I was kind of iffy about it because I felt like we were just so different, and I tried to give it a chance, thinking opposites to chat. Now I'm like, listen, I know what I like, I know what I want from a man. I'm not gonna derail from that because every time I do it, it ends up in the same situation. So clearly, I need to stop doing that. Anyways, that's a little love story update. That's why I said a guy asked me if I want to go on a date with him. And I was just like, I just don't feel like going on a date with nobody right now. I'm like, not interested. So, I'm going to eat my lunch. And I'll check in with you guys a little bit later. Because it's only 2 o'clock. And we got the whole day. So, weekend vlog we're doing. Okay? A productive weekend vlog. <laughs> no. This is the darkest shade. No. This is a contour stick. Mario. Mario, you're a makeup artist. For real. There's no excuse. <laughs> Honestly, I've been watching um, Gloria's video. She's like this makeup influencer on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. Maybe on TikTok and Instagram. And she's known for reviewing makeup to see if it's inclusive in terms of is it dark girl friendly basically what I'm trying to say because she's a dark skin girl and more on like the darker spectrum of dark skin I guess you want to say and she does her reviews and I never realized how much these makeup brands drop the ball when it comes to inclusive inclusivity 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 basically being inclusive is what I'm trying to say and it's just like yo you guys really really out here doing makeup brands and having foundations and blush and contours and concealers saying that it's for everybody but then when dark skin girls test it on themselves it's just like where like we can't use this and some of the brands I'm not surprised like some brands I'm like okay but then some brands I'm like no like she just posted one about makeup Mario's contour stick and she made a valid point Mario is a makeup artist. You think he would know a little bit better. I love watching her videos because it just brings awareness to the fact that the beauty industry is just dropping the ball when it comes to having dark skin friendly makeup. 2024 is crazy. But anyways, it's 4.30 p.m. right now. I just got off the phone actually with one of my friends. We had a long conversation. He just wanted some tips about like fitness and getting into shape. It was just nice to be able to help him and also his girl problems and stuff. After that long call, <laughs> I did some editing because I really do miss content creation. Like a lot of the content I create now is mainly for the new body app. So it's a lot of like fitness content stuff. And it's 
fun. I love it. I love my company. I love my company. I love my brand. I love all that. But I also really love creating content of like my life. And that's why I still do YouTube because I love creating content, lifestyle content for YouTube and TikTok and Instagram. But I just don't get a chance to do it for Instagram and TikTok because it takes too much out of my time. I want to put that focus onto my company, right? But I was just like, you know what? I have some B-rolls from my previous vlog that if you have not checked out, make sure to go check it out. It's basically me just doing a lot of things that are self-care on a budget because I'm on a budget. I'm trying to get my own. I am trying to. We are speaking this into existence. Next summer, I'm getting my own place. I want to live either east downtown of Toronto or a topical by the waterfront. Those are like the two areas I really, really like. So I've been looking into prices and stuff. And I know Toronto is not a cheap city to live in, but guys, like $2,500 in rent a month is wild. <laughs> We're going to make it work. We're going to make it work. I'm going to be so proud of myself when I can do that and make that accomplishment for myself. So that's why I'm like really budgeting. I have one more trip coming up at the end of this month, so stay tuned for that vlog. But after that trip, we stay in the country. Like we're not leaving the country. I don't care who's vacation or birthday. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm saving. I'm spending less. And yeah. So I'm going to post this mini vlog I made on my TikTok as well as my Instagram. I don't post on that at all anymore. I'm surprised I even have followers because like I don't post shit. Even though I know I said I'm saving, I want to get food. Like, I don't want my food that I cook. Like, guess ever have that feeling? Like, you cook food and it tastes good. But then you're just like, you've had it a few times this week. You don't want it. You want something else. That's what I'm feeling like. And I know the craving is really coming down to the fact that, like, my menstrual cycle is coming up any day now. So cravings are real. But I'm really craving... <laughs> I'm craving Nando's. Like, the peri-peri chicken at Nando's is fire. So I think I'm going to pick that up. Let me post this video first and then figure out what we're gonna do for dinner. <gasps> oh, they have poulet rouge. I haven't had poulet rouge in a minute. See, this is the thing too, like poulet rouge, I can get for like 15, $16, but it's only gonna be for one serving, like just for dinner. But if I get Nando's, I'm gonna pay maybe like 20 bucks, but it's gonna be for two servings. So I'm getting like two meals for the price of one. Girl math. So I think I'm going to do Nando's. I think I'm going to do Nando's. I'm going to figure it out. And then we're going to see what happens. I might go pick it up. Actually, no. I have free delivery with my Uber Eats. Oh, we don't got to leave the house. That's even better. Okay. I'm going to watch some mole while I get some editing still done. There's not much really going on when I'm editing and doing some work on my computer. I feel like you guys don't want to just see b-rolls on b-rolls on b-rolls of me editing. It's not that interesting. But I'm going to do all that. And then I'm going to check in with you guys later on if I got Nando's or not. What do you guys think? Do you guys think I'm gonna get Nando's or do you think I'm gonna be cooking my own meal? Not cooking, warming up my own meal. Let me know in the comments below. Let's see if you really know me. Let's see if you really know me. Hi. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a good night. We got the Nando's. Honestly, my mind was pretty much made up when I was recording this like two hours ago, but for you guys it was like 10 seconds ago. But it smells so good. Like, one thing you can never go wrong with is some Nando's. If you're in Toronto or, like, the GTA region, get you some Nando Nando's. It's so good. I've had it for the first time when I was in the UK a couple years ago. And I was like, yo, this is really good. And I couldn't find it anywhere else. Like, anywhere else I traveled to, I never found a Nando's. And then when I moved here, I was just like, wait, they have a Nando's in the toronto gta area that's crazy ever since then i've been getting it all the time like so good i usually get the peri peri chicken um medium i think is the flavor that i get and then the fries i get are peri peri so they have like the seasoning on them look at that like okay this is poorly done because why is the seasoning only really on like a couple of fries and not tossed like i can tell they put the fries in here and then they sprinkled the season in they put it in a bowl and then tossed it like they should have but whatever i'm so starving mm. Mm. it's cold though put that in the air fryer 
the main event, the main prize is the chicken, guys. The chicken is so good. Oh my god, it's so much. Like, I need to put this back in the air fryer. I want it a little more crispier. But you guys see that? Ooh, can we like focus a little bit? It don't look that good. I'm not gonna lie to you. I've seen better, but the flavor is good. It smells. Mmm. And the sauce that the chicken is like drenched in. So good. So good. So I'm gonna put this in air fryer. Relax. I have my whole little setup right now with my computer, and then the TV has the mole watching. I have two more episodes left of season one to watch. I already watched season two. So after this, I don't know what else I'm going to watch on Netflix. If you guys have any recommendations, please let me know. I like psychological thrillers. I like horror. I like suspense. I love reality. Like Love is Blind, Perfect Match, um, The Mole, um, whatever. You know all those like reality TV shows, those cliche Netflix ones? I love them. I like suspense. I don't like action or like Marvel, anything like that. So please don't recommend those if that's one of your options. But yeah, if you have any ideas based on those, like, subjects or genre is the term, let me know. I really would appreciate it. And you probably could be helping someone else, too, who wants to find something to, like, watch on Netflix. So I feel like something to find on Netflix is a common struggle. So help me and help someone else out, you know? Anyways, I'm going to go have my food, and I'm probably going to tap in with you guys tomorrow because, as I said, I'm just going to be working, watching TV, nothing really interesting. And Sunday, which is tomorrow, is gonna be even more productive because Sundays is when I do my like reset. I gotta go to the grocery store, get some groceries. I'm not working out, but I am going to be having some calls with some clients, updating some clients' programs. If you guys don't know, I am an online coach with my app, New Body. So I have client check-ins where I gotta see what they did for the week, update their program, their meal plan, all that good stuff. So that's like a real, real productive Sunday reset type of vibe. So I'll see you guys tomorrow for Sunday. morning i am right now at the grocery stores grocery store not stores i'm about to get some groceries i have a list and we are sticking to this list because every time i don't know if this is adulting or not let me know if you guys agree or feel the same way let me hide this microphone hopefully you guys can still hear me if the microphone's like a little hidden but every time i go to the grocery store and i have a list i always go beyond that list i go down aisles i have no business going down like you came here for certain items get items and leave so i really don't need much i need more protein than anything and some breakfast things so what we have to get is milk i go through milk like water is actually insane because i have milk in my coffee i have milk in my oatmeal that i have protein shake with milk and it's just like i can go through two cartons of almond milk or oat milk in a week so i'm gonna stack up and get three i have to get coffee creamer i have to get two bags of shrimps i have to get some chicken breast i want to make curry chicken this week so we're gonna do that I have to get some lettuce and cucumber and that's it like nothing else we literally have one two three four five six seven items on the grocery list so we're gonna do that get back home so i have a call at 2 30. i had a call after my breakfast that you guys saw me make protein pancakes Ugh, it hit man it really hit i had the flourish brand today usually i have the kodiak one but i switched it up and i will say i like the kodiak more than flourish because flourish is a little too whole grain for me like the kodiak one doesn't taste as whole grainy as the flourish one so i'm gonna go back to that one but it was such a good pancake, especially with the strawberry jam I made. Oh, 
so good. Let's go get these groceries done now because I'm boiling hot. I thought it was going to be cold outside. The weather said it was 21 degrees. So I'm like, okay, let me change my shorts into some pants. And now I'm really regretting that. Like, really, oh, my keys. Really regretting that. <laughs> biggest reason why I never really vlog in my kitchen is because the cabinets are not straight like you guys see this right you see how it goes straight and then it just you know, tilts down it's so weird and the camera is balanced I have a balance on my tripod and it's literally telling me that it's balanced and the countertop here is straight but this thing the cabinets they mess up on that part like that's why I hate. I feel like it just throws off everything. But whatever. We're back from the grocery store. I ended up getting a few more things than my list had. Because I kept walking down aisles. I had no business walking. Like, I had business walking down the aisle. But, like, it wasn't on my grocery list. So, one of the things I picked up was fabric softener. Because I realized, one, it was on sale. And two, I'm like, I don't think I have enough fabric softener. I'm pretty sure it's almost done. So, I picked it up. But little grocery haul I got some foil paper made this for my air fryer I got some rigatoni pasta let me know what your favorite pasta or noodles I know some people call it noodles I find that so weird I feel like pasta is pasta and noodles is like ramen noodles you know there's a difference but one of my favorite pastas is rigatoni so good and every pasta tastes different like rigatoni tastes different from penne penne tastes different from spaghetti spaghetti tastes different from lasagna like it's so weird because they all are made from the same ingredients, but they taste different. It's weird. It's weird. I got a cucumber because I want to make a chicken Caesar salad for dinner. I got some sun-dried tomato. If you know, you know Shay, my girl. She put me onto the sun-dried tomato pasta sauce, and I never turned back. Like That's the only way I make my pasta sauces now because it's just so good. I got some lettuce for my Caesar salad. And... I got my milk. I couldn't find oat milk that's vanilla flavor that's not unsweetened, so I didn't pick it up. I'm probably gonna find it at like Metro or Walmart, or I'm probably gonna pick up instead the high protein almond milk that they have. I only see it at Metro. Maybe Walmart might have it, but I know No Frills doesn't have it, so I picked up two instead of three. And then I got some shrimps. I got this hazelnut coffee creamer because it's given fall outside so if bath and body works has pumpkin spice candles it's time for me to get some hazelnut creamer like fall vibes you know and then i got my chicken breast for my curry chicken so what i'm gonna do my client whose call was scheduled for 2 30 she messaged me and asked me if we can do it at 3 30 instead so that's perfectly fine for me because that gives me time what time is it now 30 it gives me time to have lunch I'm gonna have the leftover Nando's with some rice and corn then I'm gonna wash up some dishes then I'm going to season my chicken pack away the groceries and I'm gonna catch up on some YouTube videos because Sundays are usually the days that a lot of my favorite youtubers post videos like CC Shay Talitha usually posts Kyra or Aaliyah posts a vlog um, who else I can't remember off the top of my head. But every time I go on my subscription little tab on my YouTube homepage, I always see a ton of my favorite swole sometimes posts on Sunday. I see a ton of my favorite creators and YouTubers posts, so I'm going to watch the videos as I do that. And then do my call, and then go from there. So let's pack these away. Let's season and clean up the chicken. Do I have vinegar? Shh. I don't have vinegar. Shit. I just remembered we finished the vinegar the other day. Do I have lemon? Okay, I have lime. I have lime. So we're gonna clean it in some lime water. <laughs> That's the least I could do. But yeah, I'm gonna do all that and let the beat roll. Beat, meat, and my. Mm -mm -mm. We'll be <laughs>
I finished with all my calls and my client program updates I had to do for the day, I took a shower, did my skincare. Sundays are the days that I do like a full skincare. I cleanse my face, exfoliate, and then I put my mask. The mask that I've been using is this La Roche mask. It's supposed to, not supposed to, it is for clogged pores, which is what I have. It also helps with like excess um, oil and my skin is on the oily side so i feel like using this once a week and i've been using this for months now has really helped with controlling the oil and not in a sense of like really drying out my face because i was watching my girl shay's video and she was saying in her like shower routine video that when you do too many things on your face that strips your face dry it actually does the opposite of what you think it does like i remember when i first started getting into like skincare stuff stuff and I had really oily skin I used to think that oh my god I need to use a whole bunch of acids and products to like strip the oil from my skin so that I don't have oily skin and my skin doesn't break out but what ends up happening is that your face realizes like holy shit we have no oil on our skin let's produce even more oil because whatever oil she produces we produce she takes away from us you know so it does over time by producing more oil so when you use products that are not so stripping of the natural like oil that's on your face, your face doesn't get as oily as it would when you strip it away. I hope that makes sense. Today has been very, not even today, just the whole weekend has been like really productive. I'm looking in the mirror so I can see what I'm doing at the same time because I can't really see if I'm just like, actually no, I have a camera right here, face in. But it has been a very productive weekend, honestly, and I feel like that's what you need to do. Well, that's the part of my life that I'm in, like the chapter. Everyone's different. I used to be that person where every weekend we're outside, especially during the summer. Like, as a Canadian, summer you take very seriously because we have nice weather for like four months out of the year. Five is pushing it. The rest of the months are just shit weather, in my opinion, because I just love hot, heat, summer weather. So even like spring is not the greatest because you still be getting snowstorms in april starting like end of may june july august september that's when we have really nice weather once you hit october it's like okay get ready for winter type of thing you know so i would really be outside enjoying summer and there's always so many things happening going on in toronto back in montreal you know and now i just feel like i'm in a place in my life where I need a balance. I'll go out, I'll have fun, as you guys see in some of my vlogs, but I also need to be working and, you know, setting myself up for my future because I think I mentioned in this vlog earlier, my goal for next summer is to be in my own place in the actual city of Toronto, either East Downtown or Etobicoke area. So I really have to double down and work hard because I'm getting that for myself, you know? And I have to make sacrifices for that. So if that means giving up a summer and not going out every weekend, I will do that. It is perfectly fine. Now what I got to do is edit some content for my new body reels, the new body account on Instagram and TikTok, and have some type of game plan of what type of content I'm going to be creating this week at the gym for that Instagram and TikTok page. Because I have been posting on that page on both Instagram and TikTok every single day for at least two months now I would say and at first I was overwhelmed I was like oh my god am I really gonna do this like I psyched myself out I was like okay let me just post five times a week you know whatever but then I was just like no like Alex Hermosi, Hermosi, Hermosi I keep getting this man's name wrong I mentioned him in my previous vlog that he's someone that I really listen to in terms of like building a business you know creating content as a business owner all of that he's just like you have to do so much volume in terms of content like you have to really promote the shit out of yourself what his exact quote was if you're not making a million dollars a year you're not promoting yourself enough and i heard that and i was just like oh <laughs> he was like you need to take four hours every single day in content creation so that you can promote yourself every single day multiple times a day on certain platforms and obviously when you hear that you're like whoa because you're thinking of all the work that goes into it it's a lot of work to if you are a video creator content creator on any platform you understand that there's so much work that goes into like planning the content recording the content editing the content uploading the content and then repeat so it's very hard and especially if you have other things going on like if you work already a nine to five if you're in school if you have kids like doing all of that work an addition to what you got going on is a lot but i'm a strong believer that if you really really want something ow 
you will make time for it you will make sacrifices for it and you will make it happen and I've been that route too where I was working you know bartending I was going to school I was still creating content it was tiring you have long nights but you got to remind yourself like how bad do you really want this you know if you have to go a couple of nights where you're not sleeping a couple of days where you're tired as hell maybe months maybe even like a year or so at the end if you know that everything you want you will achieve is it not worth it chances are it really is but nonetheless as we we're speaking about productivity on the weekend sometimes you just have to have that like it's okay to have you know a weekend where you're going out you're partying you're drinking you're seeing your friends you're chilling you're going up to north to a chalet you're on vacation you know you're maybe just chilling out and not doing absolutely nothing that is okay if you have weekends where you actually still are productive and doing the shit that you want to do if you're a content creator or you want to be a content creator and you work a nine to five weekends are the days where you're gonna have to work the content creation stuff you know like you may not have the luxury of going out every weekend because you have other priorities to do but you still need to have a balance where you enjoy yourself because you can burn out real quick and let me tell you i've been there done that don't follow me do better than me all that to say it was a productive vlog it was a productive weekend and the weekend after that is when i go on my next trip for my girl's birthday so we're gonna be away i'm gonna be away for a couple of days i gotta make sure that like i have all the content and stuff created and batched up and ready so i can just upload it and not have to work too much while i'm on my girl's trip it's getting hella dark sorry but that's probably the sun telling me wrap it up you're talking too much yeah yeah <laughs> it doesn't help the fact that i'm looking hella dark let's do it this way Ooh, there you go <sighs> no that's too bright <laughs> that's way better as i was saying i hope you guys enjoyed this productive weekend vlog well at least my version of productivity if you guys enjoyed this vlog make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel we're almost at 7,000 subscribers which i love like what i'm so excited i love each and every single one of you guys who support me and watch my videos every single week as consistent as i can be okay got a lot going on but i appreciate you i appreciate the support i appreciate the views i hope you guys have an amazing day and week and i'll see you guys in the next video bye